I wanted to ask you about um, a statement you made earlier when you said voluntary decisions can't lead to exploitation. I think that's a little misleading. Mutually voluntary, yeah. Because what it assumes is that, you know, even in volu nominally voluntary, um, you know, instances, there can't be exploitative behavior. And I, I, I get sort of what you're saying. Like, you know, usually when we think of exploitation, we think of, you know, someone being forced or coerced to do something. You know, people don't have a lot of money. They're not making a lot. And so someone's like, you know, totally at the bottom and they, um, you know, make a contract with one of these employers. They're making a decision. They're taking a bad, op they're, they're taking the least bad option. Right. You know, and that employer might say, hey, I'll, you know, you'll work for me, you'll work 80 hours a week, right. and I'll pay you $2 an hour. I mean, it's the least bad option, and it's a voluntary decision, but it, I think it still is exploitative. Okay, but you know what's, so here's the problem. In seeking to end that exploitation, what you are very often doing is providing them a choice now of no choice. Meaning, for example, let's take a minimum wage law, which is essentially, Lochner is talking about things like minimum wage laws, and talking about um, maximum work hours and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so the, the problem with a minimum wage law is that what you have now done is you've circumscribed choice even further because you're not actually giving people a broader range of choices. Now you're telling employers that they have to hire people at a certain price. They may think that the employee is not worth the price and just not hire them. And right? this is what happens very often with minimum wage laws. The solution to all of this is something that I believe in which is private unionization. So I think the private union is that you get together with all your friends, you say, listen, none of us are going to work for anything below this wage. We're not allowed to kneecap anybody because that's use of force. But if all of us agree, we're not going to go in, we're not going to work in this place that's going to kill us in two years. I, that's perfectly legitimate and good, right? Collective bargaining on a voluntary basis is a good thing and doesn't violate any free market principles. What I don't like is the idea that if you decide to take a job at $7.50 an hour and I think that I could have bargained better than you, right? That I could have bargained it up to $10, for example, or I think that if you'd held out a little longer, you might have gotten $10. Or I think that maybe you couldn't have, but you know, the guy can afford $10. You are now imposing your own view of a situation on the actors who are engaging in the act itself. We don't do this in any other area of life. It, it seems bizarre to me that we would do it in the area of economics.